You're stuck at home, and we're going to fix that. Warning, brain cells will be lost during this video. In today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to tune your guitar, even if it sounds like this. Oops. What? So, first thing we need to do is acquire the phone app Guitar Tuna, as in the tuna fish. All right, so once you have Guitar Tuna, we will go ahead and download that, put that in a file on your phone titled Music If You're Cool Like Me. And we'll go ahead and open that up here. You will notice that immediately it will ask you to access your microphone. Uh, go ahead and let it do that because that's important. It has to be able to hear because it's not magical like me. All right, once you've installed this and you have it all accessing all the functions that it needs to work, then you will notice it picks up your voice. As you notice, it's picking up my voice right now. There's a couple things you need to know about Guitar Tuna. It has a couple different features on here that are pretty cool. One is it can be set to auto, which you need to notice right here. Auto means it's just gonna automatically pick up notes. And if you put it on manual, by just touching the auto, it goes to manual, I can actually tap the string. Once you get that taken care of, you can actually match the pitch to that of the string. The other thing you might want to notice, I'm going to go ahead and put it on auto. I like mine on auto. I don't need that feature. I know what I'm doing here, but you might. So if you can't tell what the sound is supposed to sound like, um, which we'll get into that in a minute too, because that's possible. There's a lot of things that happen with this thing. But, ooh, I almost said something in tune. Thing. E Nailed it. Leaving you on auto. We're going to go ahead and go through the functions of this thing here. And you might notice that the guitar neck matches that. Okay, maybe I should clean my guitar before doing a video. I don't know. I'm looking down at it. I have it sitting right there in case you see me looking down and not at you. Hmm. <laughs> so, first things first, I'm going to hit my low E string. As you can see, E is highlighted, but it says it's too low. Now, you don't have to pluck it that hard, but you have to pluck it hard enough to uh, be able to hear it. Another thing you might notice, as I'm talking, it's messing this thing up a little bit. So we don't want to have noise in the background. No kids playing, no pots and pans clinking around, no, you know, theatrics, theater systems playing, or don't be doing this in a theme park or a park or, yeah, noisy mall or anywhere. Actually, right now you're at home, probably, if you're watching this, because we're all on self-quarantine lockdown. Hopefully you are. And uh, the sooner we all get done with that, the sooner we can get back to living normal life. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar. All right, enough digression. Here we go. E. Too low. I'm going to turn the knob here knob I'm gonna turn that counterclockwise okay so if I lay a clock on top the clock would be going backwards for those of you who aren't sure what a clock is so pluck the string you see the little thingy getting closer now if it was too high like that I would go clockwise But I don't just go to the note right in the middle. I'm going to go below it and then back up to it. All 
The reason being is because it will hook up in the nut or on the tuning peg right here. These little thingies cause problems when you go from high to low. So we always want to remember, go from too low to in tune. It'll hold its tune better. I always tug on the string a little bit too. So I'm gonna go to too low, tug on the string just a smidgen. There we go, we are in tune. That's really all there is. You can continue through each string and do the same thing. So what I'm gonna show you when a guitar is severely out of tune like this one is, you might notice that it's also picking up the E string. This is clearly not the E string. So you're gonna have to tune that up. All the way to where it matches the A. Now, let's say you didn't know what that sounds like. Again, you're gonna have to go to manual and click the A. Just like so, right? Okay, going back to auto. After the A string is tuned, I'm gonna go to D. And I can see that's too low. This is good, going from low to high is what we want. Excellent. Going down to the bottom side of the neck, we have G. Now you'll notice I actually turned clockwise that time. That's because we're on the other side of the neck. Clockwise. Ooh, definitely not a G. Bam, and we're in tune. And our final string. Now, if your guitar was severely out of tune, I bet you think your guitar is in tune now, and it's not. And I'm gonna tell you why, because this is made out of wood. And when strings pull on wood, it flexes the wood. And if I bend that, or you can hear the pitch changing. So, that being said, as some of these strings were being pulled on the neck, that's actually gonna flatten or loosen the other ones that we just previously tuned. Keep that in mind. My bet will be that the E string is flat now. And it is. And that is because as I tightened all the rest of the strings, it pulled the neck forward, which means it loosened all the other strings that were perfectly in tune. So here we go. We gotta retune all our strings again. So. Tip number one, don't let your guitar get that far out of tune. Here we go. Back to the A string. D string. G string. B. And E. All right, there you have it. You should be able to tune your guitar if you can't watch the video a hundred million times. Cause you'll be at home and you'll have time for that. Now that we've got our guitars in tune, let's talk about a couple other cool features that we can do with this bad boy. First off, I can click the settings. I can actually change the headstock. Right in the middle there, headstock, boop. Right, I can go from acoustic guitar, which we were just playing to electric. If you have an electric guitar, you might want to do that. Going back to acoustic, because that's what I'm using. I'm going to leave it there. Now I can go to tools. Down in the bottom left, you look at that, tools. I have a metronome, which is a sweet little tool that's probably the most highly overlooked device in the musical study world. And what we're gonna do with this is I wanna show you a couple features here. Down here where it says 4-4, I like to click that and put it on 1-4. Reason being, when I press play, it's all the same sound. If I put that on 4-4 time signature, 
only beat one is green and the rest are a different sound. Both are highly functional things to study with. The reason I like the 1-4 is because it doesn't have an odd click in there. It's all the same and if my students make a mistake, we don't have to wait for it to cycle around. So that being said, if you are having trouble staying on beat one or counting in general while you play, put it on 4-4 four, four time signature, whatever time signature you're studying, and make sure that you start beat one on the green. Just like that, start. Okay, the other feature that's on here is your chord library, which is another cool feature that you can scroll through here and you can find different chords. F major, F minor, and I believe they have different versions of those same chords throughout the fretboard, all for free as you scroll through sideways. You can see that on fret one, there's your F minor. On fret three, you have this voicing of the F minor. On fret eight, you have another one. So that's important, that's very cool. Um, and I would imagine there's more features if you wanna pay money for this app, but I don't like to pay for stuff. So I'm gonna use their app for free. Anyway, thank you very much, Guitar Tuna. You guys are amazing for providing that for free. And I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial and are able to tune your guitar so you can practice music sounding beautiful and nice and fancy rather than the alternative. Please like and subscribe my videos. Share this with anybody that needs help tuning their guitar. Everybody should tune their guitar. We don't want out of tune guitars. That's important. I hope you're all safe. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. The sooner we can all stick to this quarantine and stop this nasty virus, the sooner we can all go back to living our normal lives. I'm looking forward to hearing your guitar in tune.